I was whirled about in the air like a feather, thrown to the ground on my hands and knees. Lieutenant Lemuel A. Abbott, 10th Vermont, Battle of the Wilderness, 1864. I do hope the Yankees will assault our line, for I want a victory here to balance those in Virginia and out west. Lieutenant A.J. Neal, Marion Light Artillery, Mill Gap, Georgia, 1864. They fought like bulldogs and died like soldiers. Southern bayonets dripped with blood. Private Henry L. Byrd, 12th Virginia, Battle of the Crater, 1864. For the third year, armies of the Union and the Confederacy were hammering at each other. But this year, a sea change would occur. Civilians, their homes and businesses became targets. The largest Union armies no longer retreated after stinging defeats, but maintained a bulldog grip on their opponents. This year would be different. This would be 1864, the year of relentless war. Brought to you by the publisher of Civil War Times, this special publication features the war in the soldier's own words, enhanced with dozens of photos, paintings, and maps. An introduction written by renowned historian Harold Holzer summarizes the events, the challenges, and the changes of that pivotal year. The publication features battles like Spotsylvania, Atlanta, Petersburg, and many more. There are great leaders. The experiences of civilians north and south. The experiences of black soldiers. Naval exploits from Mobile Bay to Cherbourg, France. Lincoln's critical battle to win re-election. More than 100 letters, diaries, photos, memoirs, paintings, and artifacts bring the dramatic year of 1864 to life in a unique way. 1864, the year of relentless war, is the fourth in a special Civil War series from Weeder History, the world's largest publisher of history magazines. To order your copy of 1864, The Year of Relentless War, and other titles in this special series, go to historynetshop.com.